there are a bunch of questions that are about how many great circles or how many small circles can you draw through a given point here or there. Okay, so what I want to try and do is appeal back to the diagrams we've already drawn. Um, I'm going to mess these all up because you don't need them anymore, you've already copied them. But maybe later on, for when you're answering these questions, beside your answers, when you say yes, you can draw as many as you like, or no, you can only draw a single one, you may want to have a diagram like this. Example. One of the questions says, how many great circles can you draw through a particular point that you pick anywhere on the sphere? So if I pick a point here, okay? I think it's pretty apparent to everyone, you can draw at least one great circle, right? You can draw at least one. So if I went straight from here, directly up to the center, and you can say, well, let's make that the radius of a great circle. So I guess mine would look something like this. Mm. There you go. So I can put at least one, right? But the thing is, if you look carefully, you'll see that you should be able to put a whole bunch more. And in fact, there's a point on the sphere, on the surface, where I've already, already illustrated this. Do you notice? Have a look at the original two circles, the original two great circles that I put on there. And do you notice they meet at that spot? Do you see that? And you've probably got a spot like that on your sphere as well. That spot there has got two great circles passing through it. And in fact, if I kept going, I could draw more great circles. I could draw one that's off at this angle. In fact, what this starts to look like is a little bit like, you know, in science when they draw that, um, that diagram that looks kind of like this to show the electrons flying around, even though they don't actually do that. But you get the idea, right? You've got a single point, and there's actually going to be many, an infinite number of great circles that pass through that one point there. I could keep on drawing more, but the diagram just becomes a disaster. Okay? Following that... They then ask, well, what if I have two points? If I have two points on the sphere, can they pass through anywhere? Now, I'm going to come back to here. I want to take, for example, say, a spot in Argentina, a spot in Argentina, and a spot in Colombia. Here we go. Okay. Now, you've got these two spots. I want you to think, I want you to picture a great circle that passes through both of those. So you've at least got to join these two spots. And you also want to pass through the center of the circle, right? Can you picture where it is? Do you see it in your mind's eye? Okay. Now, I want you to try and draw another one. Can you draw another one that's different? And the answer is you can't. Whichever one you draw will end up being exactly the same as the one you started with. Okay. Now, therefore, under normal circumstances, and Akil will need to pay attention to this one, under normal circumstances, if you pick any two points, you'll only get a single great circle passing through them. But I, again, want to make you look back at this diagram. I'm going to redraw it because I put too much stuff on it. If I redraw my sphere, and I put one great circle, and then I put any other great circle. Do you remember we said there's that part on the front where you can see? You're like, oh, look, they both pass through there. Look again at the diagram. Do you notice there's this guy hiding on the other side, right? And look, there's more than one great circle that passes through both of them, okay? But these two points are not random. They're not random. What spots are they? They're on, they're on opposite ends. Yeah, so remember, in fact, if you come back to these guys here, your meridians of longitude, what's special about the meridians? They're every single one is a great circle, isn't it? And every single one passes through the north and south pole, your two spots, okay? But you can make those spots different. For example, if you put this one, what did I say? Uh, Argentina. Opposite from Argentina, here's Argentina in South America there, okay? If you go opposite Argentina, you get uh, northeast China. Okay, you get this spot here, right? Now that's not the North and South Pole. It's not the North and South Pole, but they are still directly opposite to each other. They're still directly opposite, which means you can draw this infinite number of great circles through them, okay? So this is the special case that it's talking about where your two spots are exactly opposing each other. They could be the poles or they could be any other exactly opposite spots you pick, okay?